Hello, this is Jacob Hiller with the Jump Manual, and we have had some really good questions lately, and I want to go over one of them right now. One of those questions is, uh, someone had heard that Spud Webb, you know, he said all he did was practice jumping, and that's how he was able to jump so high. And so the question is, if that's all Spud Webb does, or did, isn't that really all I need to do? I mean, if Spud Webb only practiced jumping higher, and he jumps that high, well, if I only practice jumping higher, won't I also jump that high? Well, we can attack this from uh, a lot of different levels, but I think this is the simplest way to understand it. Practicing jumping is going to increase your jumping mechanics. It's going to increase how well uh, you can use your muscles to jump high. So that means uh, with the same amount of strength and really relatively the same amount of everything else, uh, you're still going to jump higher because your mechanics are better. You're able to, to move with more efficiency. And you know, practicing jumping can increase minimal amounts of strength. Uh, it's not going to do a lot for your strength, but it can do a little bit for your strength. And it can also increase your plyometric ability, your reactive ability. So knowing that, um, what it really comes down to is knowing that if that is really all that Spud Webb did, uh, then he probably had uh, genetic endowments of you know, pretty decent relative strength. The guy doesn't weigh very much, so his, uh, he probably had pretty decent relative strength. Um, he probably had pretty good joint angles, pretty good tendons, and uh, if that's really all he did, then all he needed to do was increase his plyometric ability, mostly, and his jumping mechanics. So the real question is, do you need anything other than better jumping mechanics, mechanics uh, a little better plyometric strength, and a little more strength? Uh, if you find yourself needing a lot more strength, which happens to be a lot of you, uh, because strength is one of the the main prerequis prerequisites to jumping high for 95 percent of you guys out there uh, you know Spud Webb probably also had uh, a great de degree of fast twitch muscle fiber which means he was able to accelerate very fast and reach high velocities uh, at a quick and short amount of time however if you don't have uh, high fast twitch muscle fibers you need strength in order to overcome your own body weight a little faster for example your legs your body right now feels very heavy to your legs, but if your legs were stronger or your body was lighter, then you could move and jump faster because everything would feel lighter. You could actually overcome the resistance much easier because, uh, relatively speaking, there would be less resistance to overcome. Anyways, back to the simple answer is, um, what we're really saying is Spud Webb only needed to increase his jumping mechanics, his plyometric ability, and only needed a little strength to jump that high. If indeed that's all he did. And so can you apply that same question to yourself? Um, is all I need is jumping mechanics, plyometric ability, and a little bit of strength to jump higher? And I would say that for 95% of you that answer is going to be no. You're going to need more strength. Uh, you are going to need more jumping mechanics, better jumping mechanics. You are going to need better plyometric ability. Really, you're going to need better everything. And uh, and if we can also apply this to Spud Webb. He would jump higher if he would have taken a more comprehensive approach as well. Although he uh, jumped high enough to uh, win the NBA dunk contest and go down as a legend, uh, he probably had a vertical jump in the mid 40s I'm guessing his running jump may have exceeded that but you know we, we see people uh, able to jump very high these days and we're still not tapping into the best we have of, of, of training for vertical jump purposes so I hope that helps out and answers your question and we will come back with the second part of that question that same person had another great question and we were going to go over that as well so hope you enjoy if you have any questions please leave them below bye bye